Hello and welcome to the 48th video in this series of videos programming with Chess Engine in C. So, like I said in the last video, we're going to get on now with implementing our functions for search. And the first thing we're actually going to do is nothing that I talked about in the previous video. Um, go into defs.h and add a definition here for no move, just as zero. And before we do anything else, we're going to need to be able to test um, our functions as we add them into a search. So, for instance, a repetition and things like this. So, in this video, we're just going to make a small loop inside the main function of vice and we're going to make this loop where we can basically make moves and take back moves after typing them in with algebraic notation so we're going to need a function that actually passes a move and to keep things quick there won't be a huge amount of typing from my side in this as, as, as I've already typed it so inside the io.c please enter uh, define a function sorry definition returns an integer, it's called pass move, it takes a character pointer and also our board and we're not going to take a constant board because we're going to inside this function actually generate some moves and what this is going to do it's going to take a move in let's say g7 g8 promoting to queen format or e1 g1 if we're castling or a2 a4 so we'll type into the console a move and it's going to try and find this move and then return the move as an integer so to do this, the first thing we need to do, it's not a very difficult function. Um, we're going to take, and I'm going to quickly put these lines in here like this. So this looks like a lot, but it isn't. We're simply saying, we're making some big assumptions, first of all. We're assuming that the move that's been entered is, first of all, is f at least four characters long. Otherwise, things are already going to fail here. And... In fact, we could put an assert in here, actually. Let's, although we haven't included string.h. No, we won't do it now, because I've never known it happen from the, G, uh, the GUI. So we'll just have to make sure we type in correct moves. So here we basically say is make sure that the a's and the h's, the a, the, sorry, the, the 8's to the 1's and the h's to the a's are all correct. So the first and the third letters should be an a to an h, and the second and the fourth letters should be a 1 to an 8. If they're not, then not going to return false. We're going to return no move here, like this, to say that something's already gone wrong if we check what's going on here. And then what we do, assuming these are all right, you've seen this before where we basically use the ASCII character values as integers, we get the file and the ranks by subtracting the A and the 1 character. So we did something similar, I think, in the passing the FEN function to get our from and to squares. And just a little debugging while I was doing this earlier, I just printed this quickly out to the screen to make sure everything was looking okay. You don't really need this line. So what we can now do though is just very quickly, and I'll open up the validate to remember how the function looks, but we could say just make sure that the squares we found are actually okay here so that we're not doing anything silly. And once we've got that, the next bit should be very familiar. We're going to create a moves list, generate all of our moves, and then this move num here is for the looping through the loop of moves. This is going to be the actual move that we return. And here we've got the promotion piece. And what we're basically going to do, well not basically what we are going to do, is we're going to loop through every single move and we're going to find which move has the same from and to square. And these will be unique, obviously, apart from the case of promotions. And if we find so what we'll do is each move will get the promotion piece and if we find that there's a promotion piece then we'll have to do some if-else statements inside there just to say okay um, depending on the character submitted by the user in n, an r, a q or a b for, right, uh, for knight, queen, rook and bishop have we got the right promotion piece? So the whole loop in itself looks like this so I'm going to paste it in and it's not anywhere near as bad as it looks in terms of size but we're going to say here, so here this is the same as in the perfed, we loop through all of the moves. Here to make things a bit more convenient, we set our move integer to the move in the move list. And now we say if the from square is equal to our from square and the to square is equal to our to square, then it may well be the same move. And the only case where it might not be is if it's a promotion. So we get the promoted piece using our macro, which you've seen before. 
and we say if the priority piece is not empty, then it was a promotion. And now we use our logic and say if it is a rook queen and it's not a bishop queen, then it must have been a rook that was promoted in this move in the move list. So we're looking for the fourth character from the sorry, the fifth character from that's entered by the user to be an R. If it's not, then something's gone slightly wrong somewhere. Or, well, if it's not, then it's not this move, so we can continue. Otherwise, we return the move because we've found it. The same logic here for the bishop. Same logic for the queen. It must be a rook and queen and a bishop and queen. Otherwise, it must be a knight. And we just keep continuing until we find the right one. And then at the bottom here, we simply return our move. If, because if it wasn't a promotion, then we've already found our move. It's got to be unique if the from and two squares are the same. You can't have two pieces moving from the same from square. You can have two pieces arriving on the same two square, but not on from the same from square. So we return our move here. And the last thing to do at the bottom is, of course, if we get out of this for loop without actually returning a move, then we've not found a move. So that should be fairly clear how this function works. Like I said, it's a little bit of code, but it's really not very complicated at all. It's simply looping through our list of moves we've generated and matching the from and two squares to what was in, put in by the user. So now what I want to do is go into a vice and actually test this. So let's make a character array called input. And we'll leave space here for six. So we've got up to five characters plus the enter key. And then we can say that while, and we'll do something very bad here and say true. So while true. And now what we're going to do is we're going to say, we'll print the board, first of all. And then we'll print F and ask the user, please, whoops, enter a move. And then we'll use f gets to actually get the move and store it in input and we'll read from the user up to five up to six to yes up to six characters and we'll use standard input and that's okay and now we need to right at the bottom of the function here I'm going to flush the standard input before we go round again to get another move so that we don't end up with f gets being called multiple times. And now we'll say that if input and the first character of our input equals a small q, we'll say that the user has quit here and we'll break out of the while, while loop. If it equals a small t, then we'll actually take back a move. Now the assumption here of course is We've actually made a move on the board, and this is up to us because we haven't got any checking or anything in here. This has just been quickly done so we can play around with this in the next few videos. And we need to then continue here. Else, and in this section then, we're assuming that we have a move, we'll actually go for passing our move. So we'll go up here and take pass move. And we'll send in the input and we'll send in the board. And the last thing you need to do, actually, I'm just thinking, is add the definition for this pass move into defs.h. I can't remember whether I've already done it or not. Somewhere in I.O. Yes, I've already got the definition here as an external function, remember, so it can be accessed overall or everywhere. OK, so we either take the move or pass the move. We print the board while it's here. And the other thing we could do, well, we need to make the move as well. So we'll make an integer here called move. We'll set this equal to no move, and now we'll set move equals pass input, and if move is not equal to no move, means we found the move on the board, we can then make the move on the board. And I think it's in this order, we'll find out when I try and compile. Okay, so that should, I think, give us our... Ah, I... We won't get our flush operation, will we, if we continue here, though? So this breaks out. This is OK, but we won't use a continue here because we still want to flush the standard input. OK, so I'll go for a make here and see how many errors it throws. My goodness, none. And let's see what we get when we actually try and run. So I've got this position set up here from the top of the file at the moment. 
I've taken from the Perf Suite EPD one of the trickier looking positions and we'll go for B7, A8 promoting to a Rook so a capture and a promotion to a Rook so we'll go B7, A8, Rook and now you can see that the Rook has appeared on the board here and the move's actually been made. If I now type T and take it back, good, it's been taken back. And now let's just go for uh, B7, B8 and we'll promote to a Knight with an N. Good, that's also working and take it back. And now let's try and do something we can't do. Let's go A7, B8 and it's not made the move. Good. I wanted, to, I thought I'd printed something out to say it's not recognized the move, but it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, good. So things are looking all right on the board. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we can start implementing our repetition detection functions and things like that. And what this bit here allows us to do, we'll leave this loop now inside main. It allows us then, for example, the repetitions to enter a few moves, take them back and see if it's all working correctly. So thanks very much for watching this video and comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.